In Detroit, it may be cold outside this time of year, but inside at this year's auto show, car makers are celebrating rebounding sales by rolling out their latest technology. Sure, we've been in a recession and a downturn, and it feels like we've never gone out of it, but that doesn't mean that there aren't people buying luxury cars. The compact in the luxury segment is really important. It's really, it's the entry way for a lot of consumers to get into that brand. Up until now, the domestic manufacturers haven't had a lot to compete in the small premium marketplace. But Cadillac is entering into this luxury small car market with a car that's very lightweight, it's got a lot of horsepower, and it's also full of technology. The sporty German luxury cars like BMW's 3 Series and Mercedes C-Class are getting some American competition. Whether it's BMW, uh, Mercedes, Lexus, or Audi, uh, they're all great products. And so to be able to compete with them, you have to have the ability to have uh, an all-new architecture so you can, you can work the details, you can work all the fundamentals the way they need to be. That's on the outside. Inside the ATS is pushing the envelope with iPad-like controls and customizable LCD screens on its new Q system. With a, a command either on the steering wheel or on the touch screen, you can access all kinds of voice commands in no, natural voice rec, just like I'm speaking right now, to be able to tune the radio, to be able to call your home, call your friend, uh, to be able to get to an address. Play XM 31. 31XM. Correct? Yes. The ATS can handle up to 10 Bluetooth enabled devices, such as mobile phones and MP3 players, all voice activated, so drivers will be able to keep their hands on the wheel and their eyes on the road. I'm Chris Hansen.